Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and this is another flip through for the book 50 ways to draw your beautiful ordinary life. This was not the plan for the video, but due to paucity of time, I am doing another flip through and this is a big, when I say a big, it's a really thick book because it has a lot of exercises that you can do within the book. Why I ordered this book? I ordered this book because I love the illustration style and I want to learn how to draw. So let's do a quick flip through now. Enjoy the video. Thank you. <clears throat> so it's a four part book. Part one, which is home. Part two, garden. Part three, style. And part four, nature. And under each one of these, there are a lot of things. It's a total 249 page book. <clears throat> Drawing lessons about daily life, a paper house to fill in, tracing paper for days when things aren't going so well, fun prompts to spark inspiration. So as you can see, it is a book where you do exercises side by side, but I love her illustration style. And everything to do with home. She's one of my favorite artists. I follow her on Instagram. Her watercolor work is just gorgeous. Perspective. There are a lot of pages as I flip through you will see which can be opened and they make something else. I do like her guided style of going step by step if you're new to drawing, which I am in a way. It's quite inspiring. So she knew she's given a tracing paper because it is okay to trace when you start in the beginning. It's absolutely okay. Here again, she's given prompts, cut a lemon or orange enough and draw it, paint it with watercolors. So part one took us 74 pages. We are starting with part two, which is garden. Garden related drawing lessons, mini sketchbook for your drawings, inspiration from space limitations, colored paper, nine ways to draw a plant. Almost like a comic book, I think. I will have to look up this artist. I don't know. 
Amy J. Pink. Lots of colored pages to explore and experiment. There are quite a lot of them. A fruit bowl. I love her style of illustration. Oh my goodness. It's between Scandinavian and folk. And very clean. <clears throat> so this was for about 50 pages, which is your garden on part 3 with his style. So drawing lessons about people and their favorite things, a paper doll book like to color, do it yourself postcards, selfie gallery and insider tips, how to make decorative borders. <clears throat> Dress me up. Yes. So, wow. Different faces and make your own dresses. This book is definitely going to make a great Christmas gift. I think even teenage girls would love it or adults. It's a fantastic book. <clears throat> Postcards you can make, she's attached them. <clears throat> no one sketching. Part four, nature, drawing lessons about nature, the joy of camping, a watercolor lesson, and watercolor paper, color techniques. All of my designs begin with making paper cutouts. And Louise Lockhart. These are watercolor papers that have been added. Well, what a beautiful flower. flower. And here we are, end of the book, about the authors Irene and Astrid. Mm -hmm. Hope you all enjoyed the flip through. Until the next video, bye-bye.